Mr. Chairman, uh, members of the committee, my name is Mary Bolognino and um, I reside in Southeast Boise um, and I am um, a member of um, Occupy Boise. Um, I'm opposed to House Bill 404 and I come before you to ask you that you do not pass this bill. This is not a camping issue. We're not roasting marshmallows here. This is a First Amendment rights issue. The Occupy Boise Vigil is an expression of speech and peaceful assembly to protest government laws that do not represent the majority of Americans, but instead favor the few. Uh, the Occupy Boise Vigil poses no health or safety risks. Um, uh, Occupy Boise has a good neighbor policy. Occupy Boise has zero tolerance for drugs or alcohol anywhere in the encampment. Smokers, please be mindful and respectful and ask your neighbors before lighting up. Occupy Boise has zero tolerance for violence or verbal abuse towards anyone. Occupy Boise has zero tolerance for abuse of personal or public property, especially regarding the Idaho Fallen Soldiers Memorial, making sure it remains open and accessible to the general public at all times. Occupy Boise will observe quiet hours in accordance with the neighborhood policies. Occupy Boise encourages all participants to respect health and sanitary regulations and will direct all participants to respectfully utilize appropriate sanitary facilities which we are providing. In the spirit of building an empowered community, individuals are encouraged to uphold accountability to these consented upon principles. Now, according to the Idaho Constitution, Article 1, Section 10, the people shall have the right to assemble in a peaceful manner, to consult for their common good, to instruct their representatives, and to petition the legislature for the redress of grievances. If you pass this law, it may be deemed unconstitutional. I'm afraid this, this legisl legislature will find it easier to pass this bill and pass the buck to the courts to decide if it's constitutional or not, rather than vote down the bill for being against people's rights. We all share responsibility, especially our legislatures, uh, to make our communities a better place uh, in which to live. Now, I realize that the homeless issue is not within the scope of this bill. However, allow me to use it as an example. The homeless shelters in Boise are full to capacity and the number of homeless people in Idaho is increasing. It has been reported on the local news that 720 children in the Boise school system have been identified as homeless. How can these children learn anything in school and grow up to be productive members of our society when they don't even have the most basic things that we all take for granted? Ms. Bolin, you know, we're, I think we're out of time. Okay. Um, instead of wasting resources on evicting Occupy Boise, why not address the homeless problem? Why not offer incentives to build a low-cost housing like the incentives that were given to the Zion Bank? Um, when the rest of the country is shutting down their Occupy sites, why not make Idaho an example for the rest of the country to follow? Thanks. I'd like to submit this. Okay, the page will grab that. Now we have uh, Barbara Kemp and Patrick Casey. Uh, and as you uh, come to testify, if you would just try to note, if you've, if you've got a point that someone else has made, um, you don't need to repeat that, but uh, we do want to hear what perspectives you have. So is it Barbara Kemp? 